you're gonna form France? Nah. Nah, I shall not. There's no achievement for it. And why would I strip out the soul of doing all this as Nevers? I just want things to look good. Good thing we have that released in peace, otherwise I'd never be getting these guys. As my loyal vassal. Aye, Korea is looking good. And this world is fairly weird. Maybe it's because I'm playing on hard mode. It stabilizes the AI quite a bit more, giving them some nice bonuses. Amazing, I took all this land, didn't even touch autonomy, and there are no revolts. This is the power of... what exactly? The Bill of Rights, the positive stability, the high tolerance, Republican tradition. It's looking good. Also, I have minus separatism due to being a, uh, an administrative republic. Jake, is your Mary Nostrum thing going to be in hard mode? Yes, and that's quite entertaining for a few reasons. Ah, so close. So very close. Minus nine. If it were minus eight, I would have you. But it isn't, so I don't. I could try my hand developing a bit more, and maybe that would push it down a bit, but I'm not sure. I mean, developing's a risky way to go about it. So I don't know if that would do us any good. But you know, I could try. I need to get just a little bit stronger. Just a tiny little province would do. Maybe I could threaten war for somebody's province and then just give it back saying, ah oh, man, it was a joke. Why you gotta take it so seriously? Or I could just get rid of Bourbon, but that wouldn't do it. Build your armies up, Jake, now. Nah. Dip rep mission, that would be nice, but I don't think we have one here. Saving Burgundian people, manpower recovery. Our manpower is not going to recover all that much. Well, I'll cancel it, because maybe I will get a mission that'll give me that. Because getting the uh, reputation guy will give me plus one. Getting the people thing will get me plus one. Getting the... Uh, oh, what was it? Papal, and this guy, and the policy. That'll get me plus nine, but I need plus ten. If only I had another thing that gave Diplo reputation. But I don't think I do. Jake, what about a timeline that shows what achievements the AI would get during history? The AI would not get much. I guess all of them would go, wow, that's a grand army. And many would get signing a royal marriage. But these are not uh, particularly interesting achievements to go for. Hmm. Focus. Oh, we don't need any focus at the moment. Jake, raise development in low dev farmlands. Well, I have the manpower to do so. What I wanted is for my two starting provinces to be better than Paris. But I guess at this stage I'm looking for cheap development to raise. Is that enough, Barry? Wow, it was. Okay, well, that's handy. Diplomatic reputation guy. Papal reputation. And that gets us to minus two. And finally, Jings, this is expensive just to grab a vassal, but we'll get a uh, policy of neutrality. And then welcome to being my loyal vassal. And since I'm such a nice guy, Barry, I am going to grant you the province of Bourbon. I'm also going to make you a march. Hopefully you don't tear that fort down straight away. 
good. Hmm? Oh, alliance breaking with Barry, of course it will. There we go. Isn't that nice? But I don't care about this guy, so... Uh... Oh, Provence! I was meant to vassalize you. Shoot. I almost forgot. I very almost forgot. That's the whole reason I released you. Didn't want anyone else getting in on that. And there we go, we get an event giving us reputation as well. Well, I don't need it. Let's just take the Diplo power. This is what I mean by dividing up France and yet uh, uniting it. It'll be united under myself. With Toulouse, Guine, Provence, Berry. Normandy I'm on the fence about because I really want Nevers to be the big motherly name across the top. I'll think about it towards the end though. Now you there, you have some cores on my good friend the Pope. I'm not so sure the Pope would give them up happily. But we'll wait towards the end, because I don't think we're going to lose these cores anytime soon. They're Octan after all. Ain't that sweet. So I'm a little short on all these claims that I could be doing. For example, I do really want Paris. But I should probably leave it towards last, because it's a bit more expensive to grab a capital province. But it's also tempting to break truce whilst you have no allies whatsoever. I mean, who is really going to stop me? Really? The little guys in the HRE don't make me laugh. Well, Wurzburg could. Wurzburg really could throw a... Uh, throw a cog into all that. Jake, how does Spain feel about threat and war for that last Guienne province? Uh, they feel like, go screw yourself. They don't want to be giving that up, although they are at war with the... I thought you were friends with the Pope. I definitely remember me looking at alliance between you just moments ago, so what happened there? Wurzburg purge of Bohemian heresy. Alright, they're too busy fighting amongst themselves. Hell, I could even swoop in and take it, but they do have some friends that I don't want to be cheesing off anytime soon. But that also does remove one of your friends. Still, I kind of want you for taking on France. Well, I don't need you for taking on France. That's part of the thing. Hmm. Might get Tuscany involved in all this. They're not interested in land, apparently. Okay, so there's no point in getting them involved. The... Truce hit is a little painful, but I can grow my vassals quite wonderfully. I gotta weigh it up though. I mean, it's 11 years to wait for the truce to go, or I can tr break truce. It'll probably set me back more than it gains. I'll truce break for the final one. Because in the end, it's just gonna make me want to break more truces. Which is. Valid. Picardy, eh? I oh, know, I know where Picardy is. What am I doing? No estate on it, although I do like getting the manpower on the go. Aggressive expansion is just a number. Well, it almost is at this point. So long as these big powers don't get involved, because Scandinavia really did come down and give me the slapping I deserved. Truce with Poland is up, sadly. I could fight them. They're not allied with uh, France or anything, but no. Of course the concern is that France just re-allies these folks. It's only ten years that they are forbidden from doing so, and I strongly suspect they are still friendly with each other. Friendly, friend, uh, friendly neutral, actually. Friendly neutral. Hmm. Jings, the game is just sending me messages that say attack, attack, attack. It is ever so tempting to fight Scandinavia and Poland and just sick Muscovy on them. 
but I need to compare military levels since that's important. 20 and 19 with 20 and 22. 22 and 21 are too scary to really take on, just like that. Just do it. Well, you do make a good point, let's just do it. Breaking truce is a tradition around these parts. I don't have my bunker buster. I guess I don't need him. Oh, I wasn't doing very good on the claims now, was I? But to lose have plenty. Very do not. I got plenty of land that can be taken anyway. And you know, if Toulouse don't want to grab these, I could always just give it to Provence. Plenty of claims to go around, lads. Yeah, it'll be quite frightening if I end up uh, in a coalition from doing this. Because it's not just breaking the truce, which will make uh, Austria, Venice, Fra ah, these guys aren't scary at all. Jake, break truce CB is the best CB. It would be nice if it were a special one, wouldn't it? Yeah, me and Tuscany are tight, they'll join in. Oh, what do we have here? You can. Oh, you weren't short of uh, infantry at all. It was a cannon you were short on. I remember now. But only now. Let's get that uh, new mortar on the go. But yes, France, I do not need. To worry about such petty things, you're going down. I have plenty of claims. I'll make it my claim on Artois. Oh. Mm, where to even go from here? There's so much to bunker bust. God. Not even there. say but guffaw to all that. Stability, just a number. Aggressive expansion, war exhaustion, just numbers. That used to be the real phrase around here, but if there's one thing I don't like, it's settling. And the thing about having phrases like that is that they just get, I don't like the word, but memified. So everybody will just haphazardly go, oh, just a number. And uh, I don't like that, so that's why I guess I don't spam them so much for myself. But there are situations like this where I have to go, it is just a number. The whole philosophy came from when I was watching a speedrun of SimCity, where Mayor K came up with a great speech about how if a metric is not tracked, don't worry about it. If you are not met against how literate your population are, or how healthy your population is, don't campaign for it. And that is by... Well, that is the whole fundamental behind just a number philosophy. Because really, if aggressive expansion is not something you have to worry about, then don't walk through the game concerned about it. I'm not concerned about it by now. Why should I be? It is, after all, just a number. Jake, because Vaska is not a at all, right? Vaska is something I say all the time. I really like it as a phrase. I mean, it's a fairly unthinkable action, but the idea behind it is something I find quite amusing. This is going to make a lot of people very unhappy with me, isn't it? Like you, Warsburg, but you're still pretty much on the okay side. We're cool, right? I might gift him up a little bit just so that he understands that we're cool.
Maximilian Zero in the chat just linked the run I was talking about. I strongly would encourage you to watch it. It is very good. I'm just using my papal points to top up the stability because stability is so expensive for a republic. Such as myself. The issue with this is that France might just grab the alliances after this war is over. It's a concern, but it's just one I'll have to live with. I'm also going to think about what I'm taking in all of this. Is unlawful territory, the Emperor may demand you return it. Jinx. I'd long forgotten about uh, the Empire even being a thing at this stage. The, Empire sh the Emperor should be happy that I get it back for him, though, so let's not worry about that. I want to get my Burgundian province back. That about does it for me. Jing's Poland and Scandinavia would likely uh, coalition me following this. But that's alright. Yeah, let's just take it all, you know. This deserves to be uh, in Provence's hand. Not so sure about Auvergne, it kind of cuts into all of these guys. Consider what the region holds. Provence should probably be satisfied with this. Berry can have a central corridor here. Yeah, I'm so proud of Berry, they deserve it more. Even though they don't have the claims or anything. No need to worry. And if I do get coalition, then it's just another fun fight to behold. It's Spain joining in that is uh, more concerning, so let's keep them nice and happy with us. We'd removed all those stamp hits. Guess I thought wrong. I'm surprised there's much left in this war. Trier and Bremen. I guess Bremen are around up there. I could uh, could lend a hand to remove them from the equation. It's a shame Würzburg isn't my ally. I'd hope we could keep a steady relationship because they're getting particularly big and strong. And they're pretty high on the list of people that I don't want coalitioning me. So if I were to do all of the unspeakable things that I'm talking about, which includes grabbing Provence there. And what was it? At Auvergne for Berry? And yeah, Würzburg... Yeah, they would really, really want to coalition me over that. This is a pretty stupid war to get into, because I'm looking at an enormous coalition when this is all said and done. I should probably attack Scandinavia and Poland before they get any thoughts about joining such a coalition. And how about Spain? Well, Spain's not in that, but it just takes them to get a little bit angrier. Oh, impressive stuff there, uh, Bremen. Shame I'm going to have to destroy you for it. <laughs> yes, the coalition may be dangerous, Jake. The only answer is to take more land. I like the way this guy thinks. That's more land. Even Bosnia will start getting a bee in their bonnet over this. Okay, I should probably scale it a bit back and think more about the claims that I have. Which is... Which are those three? Namur and... Yeah. Those are all claims. Is there anything I can give up out of them? Heavens no to that. Such a waste if I don't grab more though, because more is more. Maybe Poitou could belong a, a bit more to Betty. 
and that's reasonable. <laughs> Coalition, though. That's going to be terrifying. Wurzburg, though. Uh, if I can see them there. Wurzburg will get 87. Which will more than slap them down into outraged. And there's not much I can do about that. Wurzburg is one of the bigger, scarier ones that can get involved. Of course, I've got uh, my friends down in Italy who have my back from here till the end of time. But it's the others getting involved that is a concern there. Well, let's live dangerously. What's the worst that could happen, right? Oh, they're not uh, ready to accept just yet. I'm sure they will be soon. Bremen will want... Probably shouldn't separate piece of Bremen. I need a big, long truce with loads of people. Oh, there's the thought. Poland and Scandinavia will probably coalition me more or less straight away. I should attack them and sick Muscovy onto them. Okay, they're at war with the Timurids. That's hardly a concern. But I'll fight Scandinavia for... Uh, yeah, Scandinavia and Poland, and I'll call in Tuscany and Muscovy. Tuscany and Muscovy. It's a bit of a tongue twister there. It's a flawless plan. I should grab something else, though. Auvergne, perhaps? Auvergne to Betty? Ah, oh, just beautiful. Jake, just no CB true spake France before the coalition fires and then you're done. It makes an expert point, but... Okay, this seems acceptable. Loads of overextension for me, but I don't have any, right? Good. I got plenty of admin to core it all. Shh, as if. Okay, that works for me. And then... Straight away, I need to fight Scandinavia. Oh, everyone's getting involved in this. I wonder if anybody wants land out of it. Yeah, it must be done. i got to keep these guys out of my face. Yeah, thanks, friends. Don't even care about the war. I just need there to be war. And I'll get my troops back into uh, my well-defended territory. Poland's getting involved, which is great. And I'll get a nice big truce with people that might want to coalition me. Also, you, uh... We're cool, right? We're cool. Ah, oh, hell no, we're not cool. We are not cool. Genoa, Aachen, yeah, Wurzburg decided we are not cool. Oh well, it happens. If they want to coalition me, then go right ahead, but it's Spain that I need to keep on the positive side of all this. And they have uh, plenty of France that they want to gobble up before me. Oh yes. It's a shame we can't be friends, but we almost could. Jake, it's coalition o'clock. I'm used to coalition o'clock. That's nothing that I'm afraid of. I'm a little afraid of four o'clock, though. Should use that aggressive expansion that makes all this cheaper. Only Vermandois escapes my grasp. And the clergy and bourgeoisie once again wanting control of my land. Can I take anything worth giving to the bourgeoisie? They want so much out of me. I wonder if it's because I'm an, I'm an administrative monarchy. Okay, what produces some nice goodies? You do. Good enough. There you go. And the clergy, of course. I'll just give them something new that I took. Like Namours. That'll stop them getting on my, uh, my case. We're looking good. Jake, have a costly embargo. On Great Britain? They're not my rival? I guess I'm too strong for that. That's a bit of a shame, though. I should probably get involved in all this fighting. The Scandinavians, with their absurd general and huge everything, they're gonna cause some issues, no doubt. 
But hopefully Muscovy and Ryazan can sort them out as well. Oh well, no, why worry about that when you have Tuscany on the case? I know Tuscany are strong because of all the Italian lands they hold, but they just seem mightily strong, even taking that into account. It's impressive is what it is. I don't mind having too many Diplo relations. It's actually worth, if it wasn't a military policy, it'd be worth taking that, just to keep them off my back. I'd be trading military for dip, which is not really worth it. Let's get that overextension down. It's going to happen anyway. Once I have 214 admin points. Now, hopefully France are too weak and insignificant to secure that Scandinavian and Polish alliance. Speaking of weak and insignificant, get out of here, Sweden. Italy rules today. Italy rules every day. Do we have any Italians in chat? If so, do you feel proud of how your countrymen are doing in this game? I mean, you, you've got a bit of a uh, cross on your back. Then again, you're a bit cheeky, though. Whoever holds the Italians responsible for what they did. Jake, build troops in preparation. I don't know, man. I don't know. Could certainly afford another one of these armies. But I don't think I want to. I'm happy enough being the puppet master here. Oh, we are cool, Muscovy. We are cool. Just keep crushing the enemy. Lee Royo says I never get to be proud of my country in this game. What is your country? Yeah, the Coalition might uh, declare war on me whilst my allies don't want to help me, but the Coalition be Wurzburg. Pretty much that. I mean, GB isn't going to get into too much. I'm not afraid of it. Also, nice to see that we're winning this. It shows superiority. I was slightly concerned that the Scandinavians would show us how that's done, but you know, these are Scandinavians we're talking about, and they always just manage to fail to deliver. I guess I will start pushing into uh, Scandinavia at least. Break them up with Poland seems like a good idea. I don't want land out of them. What could I get out of them? Maybe release somebody and have them as my puppet. Not sure, I haven't thought all that far into it. I just kill and I keep moving. Now, I've had too much guns and some steel today. Dennis Wolf says, I can be proud of my country, the Netherlands, for giving you so many rebels. Man, those Dutch. They rise up way too much. I wonder why they get such special treatment there, though. Okay. The French region is very nearly united under me. Nearly. That truce break really gave me aggressive expansion, though. Really gave me a lot of it. It's such a shame Spain doesn't want to be my friend. I mean, we do want to be each other's friends, but they insist on pirating me. That should be brought down enormously. What, really? French separatists? Oh, well, we're no longer at the plus three stability that we used to enjoy previous. Uh, rather a lot of... not quite friends here. Let's crush that before it becomes a bigger issue. Exiled because of fort silliness. Jake, that was only one truce break. Man up and do more. You're awesome.